This segment brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook. Let us help feed your family. Do you want some more scratches? I'll scratch you. Hello. Oh, yeah. Some people get their lunch on the run. Kirby, your baby is trying to eat. To celebrate Beef Month, the Kansas Beef Council brings you this ranch tour with Brandy Buzzard. Hi, I'm Brandy Buzzard, and I'm a rancher in southeast Kansas. My husband and I ranch and raise Gelby and Balancer cattle and also some commercial cows, and we involve our daughter in it. So we're just out here um, taking care of the cows today and going to give you a little behind the scenes action. We're on our way to feed the cows. We do this every day in the spring. This is my husband, Hyatt. And I don't have to get the gate today because I'm filming. Yay, that's me. Everybody's out here enjoying the sun. Um, it's finally sunny and warm. It's like 70 degrees now. And it's just really nice to not be in rain and 40 degree weather. So every day we come feed. We, uh, we check the cows, but besides just feeding them, you know, we make sure they're not laying. We look at the calves to make sure that they're growing well and nobody's sick and just a general herd health monitoring. This is more of the cornfield field. There's a patch, the pond over there. So they have fresh water, uh, but they have lots of space to move around and eat. As you can see down here, they've eaten a lot of the, the husks and things like that in this area. But as you go out, um, you can see there's more corn stalks and it may seem crazy that they'll eat that, but they actually will eat these. Humans can't eat corn stalks, obviously, but they will eat all these stems and leaves and it will you know, it'll help them grow and, and maintain their body condition. So we do whatever we can to use the resources that are available to us to, to make sure that we are raising our cows in a healthy and safe way, but also that we are using resources responsibly. So this big pasture, he's still looking. So we like our cows to be really docile and not flighty or mean. And I think as you can tell, we have achieved that with several of them. This is A228. We bought her a few years ago, but she's obviously very friendly and she likes getting a scratch every once in a while. So I think maybe everybody else might be jealous of her. She's always one of the first to the feed bunk and um, she stands around and she's very friendly. Feel good? So all of our calves have ear tags and it matches their mama. So this little calf's ear tag matches his mama who is that black cow right there. And after the cows get done eating, they moo and their calves, you know, come to them and they meet up and the cows will get their lunch. Um, some people get their lunch on the run. Kirby, your baby is trying to eat. But this is our, one of our first cows that we got that's a purebred and her name is Kirby. And this is her calf and they have matching, they both have an ear tag, they both have 46 so that we know who belongs to who. And th these calves were born in the fall. Um, we want our cows to pr produce enough milk that their calves, oh, that was rude. Produce enough milk that their calves can grow big and strong and, and Kirby is doing a great job of raising this big um, heifer calf. We really like her and we really like that cow. So if we had a hundred cows like this, we'd be pretty happy. And Kirby is a, I think Kirby is 12 or 13, so she is definitely um, a great producing cow and gives us a, a great healthy big calf every year and we really love having her in our herd. So my husband is giving the cows um, DDGs. These are a byproduct of ethanol production, so they're really high in protein um, and they're not edible by humans, so they make ethanol. These come out of the process, humans can't eat them, so to reduce food waste, our cows can eat them, and um, it keeps them healthy and fed, and it also reduces food waste, so it's a win. But anyway, everybody really likes them, um, and we put that in the bunks so that everybody gets something to eat. Actually, when we get them on pasture, we will be able to, um, we will stop giving them the supplement because they'll be eating grass in a pasture and they won't need the supplement. So he's just gonna put some in every bunk. Here's another up close. My husband's put mineral in our tub, so obviously minerals are good for the body. Um, there's like calcium and potassium, and this keeps their body in good working order. Just like you would take a, a, a daily vitamin or a supplement to keep your body in good working order, we do the same with our cows. 